The best areas for most travelers to Paros are the two main villages, Parikia and Nausa. These areas offer easy walking access to great beaches, fine and casual dining, fun nightlife, and boutique shopping. Parikia and Nausa have excellent hotels in a range of styles and to suit all budgets. Other great options are to stay near the beautiful beaches of Antiparos and Risi Akti, or one of a handful of small fishing villages for authentic Greek hospitality, wonderful food, and great beaches. We've got lots more detailed information about each of these locations on our Where to Stay in Paros page at SantoriniDave.com. Let's take a closer look at each of them. Parikia is the capital of Paros and where most travelers will arrive and depart. In this bustling village, you'll find a string of lively bars and casual tavernas with unobstructed sunset sea views. Some of Paros's best restaurants, bars, and local product shops can be found in the village's maze of pedestrian footpaths. The main ferry port is in the middle with marinas and beaches on either side. In Parikia, the hotels we recommend include Apollon Boutique Hotel, Pension Sofia, and Argonata Hotel. Cosmopolitan Nausa is more modern than Parikia, but no less charming. The village sits in a natural bay at the north end of the island, with fishing boats docked and a 12th century Venetian castle half sunken in the old port. Many picturesque seafood restaurants and cocktail bars sit along the waterfront. Heading inland, you'll find the typical Cycladic tangle of pedestrian streets filled with colorful bougainvillea, boutiques, churches, and a winery. Dining, nightlife, and hotels here tend to be trendier and more luxurious than those in Parikia, though plenty of casual options still abound. In this area, we recommend Hotel Senia, Paliomilo Spa Hotel, Lily Residence, Canales Rooms and Suites, Stilia Mare Boutique Hotel, and Calisti Rooms and Apartments. The nearby island Antiparos is perfect for truly getting away. Ringed with sandy beaches and crystal clear water, filled with authentic tavernas, and home to a handful of family-owned boutique hotels. The main village, simply called Antiparos, sits at the north end of the island with its small port on the eastern edge. On the southeast side of the island is the resort area of Ayos Yorios, the next largest settlement. Though there are a couple of beach clubs and casual seaside restaurants, most of the beaches on Antiparos are left natural and peaceful. Hotels we suggest in Antiparos include Kuros Village, Oliaros Seaside Lodge, and Artemis Hotel. The Livadia neighborhood is a luxury resort space between Nausa Village and Kolimbithris Beach. Ideal for romantic getaways or family vacations, Livadia offers quiet, restful nights with easy access to the dining, shopping, and nightlife of Nausa and the natural wonders of Kolimbithris Beach's granite rock formations and Paros Park's sandy beaches and hiking trails. In this area, hotels we recommend include St. Andreas Seaside Resort, Parilio Hotel, Astir of Paros, Angels Villas, and Blue Mare Villas. Risi Acti Beach, also called Golden Beach, is one of Paros's best beaches. Its long expanse of fine, soft sand literally sparkles in the sun due to its glass-like composition. The water is shallow for a long way out, making this a popular beach among families with younger children. There are also several beach clubs, hotels, tavernas and water sports centers offering lessons and equipment rentals. Like many Kikladic beaches, Risi Akti catches the strong Meltemi winds, but its location on the east side of the island facing nearby Naxos compresses the wind and boosts its strength, making this the top windsurfing and kitesurfing beach on the island. In this area, we suggest Poseidon of Paros and Aquamarina Resort. Paras Poros Beach is the best beach close to Parikia, filled with activity all summer long, with two beach clubs spinning music all day, late night dancing, and peak summer parties. The crowd skews younger here with many partiers, 
in their 20s and early 30s. The hotels we recommend here include Minoy Village Boutique Suites and Spa and Iria Island Boutique Hotel and Spa. For a taste of local life, stay in one of Paros's fishing villages, the best of which are Piso Livadi, Ambelas, Aliki, and Drios. All of these villages boast sandy, swimmable beaches, casual waterfront seafood tavernas, many of which are owned by the fishermen's families, and small marinas. Though small, Piso Livadi is the busiest and most charming of the villages, with a larger marina and three lively beaches. Aliki is the largest, popular for windsurfing during the height of summer, and ideal for families with plenty of restaurants, beaches, and affordable hotels. Family-friendly Ambelas is a tiny village offering a quiet stay with a shallow, sandy, calm beach. Drios is the quietest of the four villages and only really gets busy during August for its windsurfing. In this area, we suggest Parosland Hotel, Aphrodite Boutique Hotel, Margarita Studios, Tokima, and Villa Vanta. Lefkes is a traditional mountain village in central Paros, in the greenest part of the island, perched at the highest altitude, boasting panoramic views to the sea and Naxos Island. Formerly the agricultural hub of Paros, Lefkes is now largely a tourist destination with wonderful boutiques, tavernas, museums, and galleries. Though Lefkes can get crowded with tourists, most people don't stay overnight. There are only a few small hotels and guest houses here. Check out our Paros Travel Guide for more detailed information, including where to stay, what to do, the best hotels, restaurants, beaches, and lots of useful maps. We've also got other great travel guides and content for popular destinations around Greece and the world at SantoriniDave.com. Thanks for watching.